look, the entire state of Utah runs on about four gigawatts of, of electricity. Uh, we have one data center campus that would operate on four gigawatts of electricity. I, I mean, that's that's wow. over a hundred years worth uh, of electricity production and development in in the state of Utah, and and they need that kind of power right now. So we we need all of it. We we need the solar. Um, we we need the, the the coal that is still burning in Utah, the cleanest burning coal anywhere in the world. We need the natural gas. Unfortunately, we have a lot of that too, and we have to bet on nuclear. And, and so that's what we're doing. We can't do nuclear overnight. It is going to take a few years, but we can certainly increase that time, the production time, the the development time, and, and then actually getting that product out to consumers. We we. We've been short-sighted. There is an abundance of energy out there. We're the ones making decisions to hold that back. Those decisions are now changing in a bipartisan way, and I'm so happy to see it. I'm so happy to hear blue yeah. state governors that are that are talking about energy development again in ways that they haven't in the past. Um, let's not make these false choices. Let's let's work on the solar sure. side. Let's work on the nuclear side, and let's get it done.